Hello, another video from the Angry Photographer here. This video was uh, directed at uh, real estate agents and those taking uh, pictures of uh, indoor and outdoor property and real estate. Also, obviously, these uh, lenses are applicable to uh, landscape, obviously. The reason I'm not including the 12 to 24 here or the 16 to 35 or is that this video is directed specifically at real estate agents and those taking pictures of indoor and outdoor real estate. Both of these lenses should technically be called the lenses for real estate photography. Um, 10 to 24 is not that expensive. You can find them meant to use for about 400. 14 to 24 2.8 G typically used no cheaper than twelve or thirteen hundred dollars new it is nineteen hundred dollar lens um, this is not an expensive lens uh... considering the fact that if it's your real estate agent it's going to be an easy tax write-off and it will easily pay for itself if you're a hotel owner a property owner or a real estate agent um, something has extremely low, low distortion and is perfect for like saying making a crappy little one bedroom studio will look extremely large with no distortion so that someone doesn't uh, prematurely assume that uh, it's a distorted uh, fisheye shot or super wide angle distorted shot so you don't have to do any uh, post-production editing in Photoshop this is the lens that you want yes it is nineteen hundred dollars but as a real estate agent owning this lens either FX or DX I would consider a necessity. Now the only reason I would call or recommend this as a necessity, even though I'm all about saving money in these video series uh, as per the 14-24, to 24, um, this lens stands alone. It is Nikon's pinnacle unmatched lens and uh, it is uh, th there is nothing that comes close to it. We can't say, well do I buy this lens or that lens or you know, I was thinking about this lens instead of the Nikkor 14 to 24. This is the one lens where nothing can be said that I'm going to compare this lens to something else. There is nothing comparable. Nothing. Not the Tikina, not the Tamron. Nothing comes close to it. As a real estate agent, you have no options. It is this lens and this lens only. Period. No ifs, ands, or buts written in stone. End of story. So purchase this, write it off on your taxes at the end of the year. If you have a D DX camera, this is perfect for FX or DX, by the way. But this is an FX lens. But We'll work on either one. Um, one slightly cheaper option, um, your hotel owner, real estate agent. You want to make your tiny little rooms look large when you post them on Hotels.com, etc. Or you're a, I don't want to say small time real estate agent. This should be called the, uh, the real estate slash property lens. It is the AF Nikkor 10-24-3545 to DX lens for DX cameras such as Nikon's D7100, D3300, D5000 series. Um, like I said, meant to use $400-$450. Another option is the 12-24, to slightly superior con construction, although it doesn't really matter. Um, this lens is made in China, the 14-24 is very slightly superior construction. Size superior lens, the same price used as this lens actually. Get this lens if you have a DX camera and you're a real estate agent or you're a hotel owner or someone that needs to take some property shots for your website or you're someone that does a lot of indoor and outdoor real estate surrounding real estate uh, shots having either one of these lenses is a necessity and they're an easy tax write-off so money in this case notwithstanding is of course irrelevant because these uh, will easily pay for themselves in no time and their tax write-offs anyway so who cares on the price this is one of those times where I can actually say who cares about the cost these are the two lenses to get got a nice FX camera even even fine for DX, uh, it's an Ikkor 14-24, to 2.8. Um, uh, I'm trying to think actually what to say special about this lens other than the fact that it's Nikon's 
one of about only four lenses that they produce out of their entire spectrum that uh, is uh, just short of magic and this is uh, arguably as many have said their most magical lens nothing comes close to it uh, there's some uh, lens uh, technologists uh, working uh, in the Nikkor plant that have talked about the endless uh, optical parameters and hurdles that it took to actually construct this lens and make it so divine and it really is and uh, it's really in this case um, even though I'm all about saving money this uh, lens is worth every bit of nineteen hundred dollars and as I recommended in another video if you're ever going to splurge and shoot the moon on one Nikkor lens this is it it's 14 to 24 28 GED and Nikkor lens so this is a lens directed at real estate agents hotel owners property owners or people that do a lot of property photography both indoors and outdoors relative to property or the encompassing uh, landscape of a particular piece of property or properties these are one of the two lenses that you want this is it there is there is nothing else there are alternatives for the uh, 10 to 24 like I said the 12 to 24 another alternative is the Tikina 11 to 16 however would not consider that even though it's the only zoom Tikina lens that I would recommend um, Generally speaking, I would not recommend getting it, rather this lens, the uh, 10 to 24 Nikkor. So, I've already droned on too long on this video, so this lens is for real estate agents and property folks, hotel owners, etc, etc, etc. These are one of the two lenses that you want to get your hands on. DX camera, 10 to 24, 12 to 24. FX also good for DX actually also but specifically for uh, FX this is a bit overkill for DX and that's the uh, 12, 14 to 24 28 G thanks for watching Zanger photographer making a special spectrum video for real estate agents and I get that question asked all the time so if you like this video you can drop me a buck or two via PayPal via the link below and uh, thanks for watching okay bye